hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel also please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified for my every upload first things first i'm gonna start with applying my red lipstick by revlon this is in the shade 015 red rules the world and i'm just gonna apply it all over my lips obviously this is a matte lipstick but it's not too drying it's just the right amount of matte and then to line my lips, I'm just going to use my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. This is the Reloaded Velvet Rose eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the brown to line my lips. You can use any eyeshadow palette. It really doesn't matter as long as you use a brown shade. The brush that I'm using is by Carla. This is the Lip Liner 417 brush. You can get it from this cam. And the reason why I'm using a eyeshadow palette instead of a lip liner or just a liner, brown liner, I find that it is hard to blend out, especially if you're using a matte um, lipstick. So I feel like an eyeshadow blends easier and it's just quicker and it just does the job anyway. So it really doesn't matter. You can use a lip liner, you can use a brown eyeliner, you can use whatever you have or whatever you want to use as long as you probably just do this method i don't know it's up to you but this is how i genuinely do it and love it and i just love the combination between the two because like i said the lipstick is not too matte therefore it doesn't dry up too quickly or it just doesn't dry up that much so it's just easier to blend everything and i just feel like what people don't understand when it comes to sort of ombre lipstick combos um i feel like they don't blend enough i feel like that's just misunderstood you have to blend everything literally when it comes to makeup the main key is just to blend once you know how to blend you're gonna get everything right doesn't matter what you do doesn't matter what you apply you literally just need to blend it you need to blend every single thing I also feel like the reason why you wouldn't blend your lip liner or whatever shade you're using or just whatever you're lining your lips with is because it's probably the same shade as your lipstick. Therefore, you won't see um, much difference. But if it's an ombre lip, you definitely need to blend. I just hate that harsh line around your lips when it doesn't suit. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, to be quite honest, but it's not pretty. Please stop doing it. It is not cute at all. And obviously, I know this video can be shorter, but I wanted to show you guys everything. I don't like it when people be like, you skipped this part, you didn't see this part, you just showed us the end result, show us how to get the whole process. Because I feel like when it comes to sort of blending your lip liner, it's a bit hard. And, and I feel like if I don't show you guys, you probably won't believe that I actually do it. So here's a tutorial on how to do it. Blend, 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 blend. Do not stop blending that's the key and trust the process and you know what i've realized guys i've actually realized this a lot i feel like when people apply makeup they literally in a rush they literally do it so quick that they look crazy afterwards take your time like if if there's one advice i can give you when it comes to applying makeup literally take your time because that's when you're gonna be able to blend i've literally said blend a hundred times but that's the key <laughs> you're literally going to be able to blend everything you're going to see all your mistakes and you're just going to sort of try and perfect everything when you're not in a rush obviously when you're in a rush you just sort of just do what you can do i don't know how to explain it but yeah and also don't stress because we are going to clean up around my lips um, you want it to be perfect. Nothing is perfect in the world, but you at least want it to look like you tried harder than just a two-minute look. I don't know. So the key is to go back and forth between the two shades. So you literally just apply the brown shade around your lips or your liner or whatever you're using to line your lips. And then you blend it out. And then you're going to apply the red lip again. You're sort of going to go back between the two till it looks the way you want it to look and as pigmented as you would like it to look and jump and just blend around the edges go back and forth doing that keep doing that till it looks blended just keep on doing that okay child keep on doing that for like i don't know for how long but just keep on doing that <laughs> also be careful when using lipstick and lip liner especially if they 
if the lip liner i mean if the lipstick is a matte lipstick because if it dries too quickly then blending out your lip liner is going to be harder therefore you need to apply the lip liner first and then apply the lipstick on top because i mean you won't be able to blend out your lip liner or whatever you're lining your lips with so this method only works if your lip liner i mean if your lipstick and your lip liner actually are not too matte so basically if you're going to use a lip liner use a creamy lip liner if you're going to do this method but if you're not then start with your lip liner first and then apply your red lip after and then you just go back and make sure that everything is blended out like always make sure that everything is blended out <laughs> that's it really that's it and then i'm just gonna take my concealer and just a flat brush that i use to actually um clean my eyebrows with like conceal my brows and then i'm just gonna make sure that i don't have lipstick around the edges of my lips it doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to be presentable basically you know what it is guys i feel like people don't take makeup seriously and it is very serious especially if you love to apply it i feel like you should practice i mean when people talk to you they're looking at your face basically and then when you look funny i mean you know people won't even concentrate on what you're saying i'm not saying you should look perfect i'm just saying you should look presentable clean rather practice and get it right even though it's not perfect or don't apply it at all and to be quite honest i mean it's not like you were born with it it's something that you did to yourself so i feel like it's not even an excuse if it doesn't look right just don't do it practice so you get it especially if like you just around people or whatever you guys know what i mean though you know what i mean so um when i cleaned my lips i feel like it erased a bit of my lipstick and i love to overline my lips i've got big lips but i love to make them bigger i love the illusion of my lips being bigger so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go back and blend it out blend it higher just so that my lips look bigger and fuller So basically, this is how my matte ombre red lipstick looks like. I love it. I love it. It looks clean. It looks blended. It doesn't have that harsh black line or brown line or whatever line that people use. That's not cute. Blend it out. Blend everything out. The key is to blend. Don't forget. Now I'm just going to show you guys how to get that glossy effect of this lip combo. So what you want to do is you want to take a clear lip gloss or just a brown lip gloss. Um, remember, you don't want to change the shades. You just want to get it glossy. So a brown or clear will work. So I'm just taking my clear lip gloss by Essence and I'm just going to apply this around my lips. Because like I said, I'm not trying to move or change anything. I just want to get it glossy and this will do the job. And then for the center of my lips, I'm just going to use my Revlon High Shine lipstick. This is just the red lip gloss lipstick. This is in the shade She's on Fire. Like I said, I'm just going to apply it in the middle. The point is to keep the ombre look going. So if I used just the red lip gloss, then I wouldn't have that effect. And if I used just the clear lip gloss, I feel like it's I would have that effect, but it wouldn't be as pigmented or just as you wouldn't see it as much as you see it now basically so yeah this is how i get it and then i'm just gonna blend the two together lightly not doing too much and yeah this is how it looks at the end i feel like this look works out perfectly so you would rock and matte lip when you go out and then probably after eating just apply gloss on top 
and it works out <laughs> perfectly fine and drink wine hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you guys in my next video